Alright, so let's have a look at See if you can see that. You should be able to see it. Right. Now that was fourteen dollars for America. End up costing what fifty-two pounds on to get it get it to here. Right. And the fourteen pounds. Just open it. Right, let's see if we can get the beer leaf like that. Right. Let's have a look at the images. Put them on that table. Doing some try to hold this and do this at the same time. Right. And it's in perfect condition. So it is. Right. See it? I did put the wee slot thing in it because it was actually just all packed in the box, right? There's a fine needle here. Right. This is what you're more likely to use, right? But you see how it's got a slot in it. A slot back here. You get further back. See this one? Right, you should be able to see that. Right, that's a lot finer. Right, then here's a wee bit more open, right? But that's why on your very first needles, right, you hit this little bit here. See it at the back? Right, it's so when you're using a fine needle that it keeps the yarn in place and it doesn't keep pulling itself back out of this needle. Right, but this set here is in perfect condition. Right, and that there, this set for $14 will be any, any set that's on the planet, I don't care what the name, what the name I make is. Okay, right, we'll do a rug with that one. Right, I'll do a rock with the other one as well. Right, so I've got them. Right, not going to leave them lying about and let's have a look at them. Right, but if you think they're like doing a bit of hand punching, just go on the Etsy, or jump on eBay and go and get yourself a vintage set of them, okay? For especially that price. There's actually a set one there at £25 with four needles with it, but I can't get it because they don't ship to the UK. But that's us with the the Lee's Deluxe Needle Set and as I say it only comes with two needles right and I can adjust this to ten different heights okay which is brilliant right it's just it's got this wee bit in here this it's a wee little mechanism right this work but you honestly have to like no matter what kind of punch needle it is with any moving part in it, you're always going to have to go and check that it's no moved on you, okay? Right, um, the other punch needle does actually walk in pretty perfect. I don't think it would ever move this one here. I don't know. We would need to, we would do a bit of punching with it, we'll do something. We'll make a rug out of this one, we'll use this fine needle. Um, I just don't like the bit where my thumb is, that space there, right, now, if I were to go back in the day, right, and I'd bought this set, I would be cutting this back blade a little touch so I could get it a bit wider, I would have to go into this with a hacksaw or something, just something that could go down this wee line here, just to widen it, just a wee touch. And it's going to be smooth when it's finished, and it's just going to catch on your yarn. You know what I mean? Um, it just, because there's no point in you try to use a punch needle and putting DK in it. It's useless, you know. Double knit. Right. And, um, it needs to be a little worsted like this size here. Right. Especially if it's going on the floor. Right, but you don't want to make something that's going to be hanging up on, like, all over your house in the day. You want to be able to actually walk on things, right? No, so this is actually all about, it's like, rugs for the floor, really, right? Some of them you can actually hang up, right? Um, anything that hangs on a wall just certainly just need a pack or nothing on it, right? And that's, these leaves punch needles, they even actually kind of tell you to get some sort of teaser for the back. There's a clock, click. The face is at him. <laughs> His face is gone for now. But 
come back to that later, right. Yeah, what a mess it made. <laughs> I mean, uh, it looks like, um, honestly, sort of things that's coming here. Yeah. We've actually even got a vintage projector, by the way. Right, but we need a part for that because that really is old, right? I got this projector here for somebody. Um, I think they said there's something wrong with the lens maybe on it. I don't know, they said they've started up but they've never tried it, but um, I will be able to fix that for something wrong with that. Right, back to this. So, there we go, right. It's a wee review on that needle, right, which is brilliant, honestly. It's like, what is it, well worth the money, no? To get when you get something, you just go well. That's that cost me such and such. But at the end of the day, if you're happy with what you get, then come on. Look at these. They're perfect. It's not even been used. <laughs> so isn't it? Look at this. It. It's an immaculate. I'm just trying to think of like how this would feel to punch with it for so for quite a big piece. I'm just try to think. Get a feel of this thing. You know. Yeah, but that's pretty cool, isn't it? Hmm? Isn't it? I'm happy with this. I've actually read the instructions on it, like there's wool everywhere. <laughs> oh well. Don't worry if it's all moving soon. Look, we've got the internet cable for it. We'll get it in the stairs. We've got the clock's nearly finished. We're nearly there. We need to like fix that, let's get holes all over it. <laughs> let's have a wee look at this truck, man. Let's try to get this to stay up. Don't worry. Hurry. Hurry. It's a pretty quick video. I'm just sort of, you want to see all we flip, don't you? Let me see if I can tune in. Just hoping it does that like, easily die. Okay. Right. This is, that is the just instructions for it and it's pretty simple. Right? It's a canter. Right. I had the wheel locking, the wheel locking mechanism was actually in the box, it was not in the needle itself, but I don't know how these needles go together. Right, this one. Hold on, I'll show you that upside down there. <laughs> I just need to turn your telly upside down, okay? Look, my instructions for use. Look, America, Louise, what? A brandy name as well, class, and trust me. Aye, Louise Deluxe Rug Needle Number 90. It was quality. So, cheers to Derek and Sam in America for sending me this. I uh, would just like to thank them very much indeed. What's it say? Well worth the money. Well worth the money. <laughs> okay, everybody. That's the, the that's the Lee's Deluxe Rug Needle review. Finito and we'll get back to this clock and try and kind of sort of off these cables out and messes and we got the actual got the oil for the thing as well look for the I can't even say what country of origin that they're made in because it does get you into trouble right but it doesn't matter they're certainly not made in the UK <laughs> none of them are right so if you go and buy one of these um, rug tuft and guns, right, you can just make a frame like that for pennies, trust me, well, I say pennies, right, but cheaper than you going and buying a, a frame and somebody can make you one with some bits of, I don't even know what size that would is, say one and a half inches be like, three inches maybe, eh? maybe two and three quarters, yeah, no, just and then cap a grip on it and that's you got a frame but I need a wee bigger frame than that that's why that's just a temporary thing but I'll do for the hand punching no that one we'll use that for we'll do hand punching but when we get it moved in the stairs we'll get proper 
um, legs and that, put on that so it's that like can't move no and it's up higher right if we need to we'll get it you get it, you can make it so as you can adjust it so as it can move up or down you know um, we'll get different cloth I think for the gun as well right I would think the proper monk's cloth the white stuff would actually work a hundred times better with the gun because Try to go across the um, across the way, but that gun is just practically impossible, you know. And I know because I've worked power tools in my life up and down's easy, but across the way was kind of like a bit of a problem with that gun. Uh, I don't blame the gun; I blame the fabric. It's just the the lines it's trying to run on. You know, you're trying to cross things, no. Guns probably speeding a little bit too fast, but never mind that. Back to that later. Bye bye, everybody.